Got a chance. There's been no update on the pool. Not yet anyways. Uh, yesterday, sorry we didn't do much more with the vlog. Mm, mm. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Hi. Hi. I just apologizing for not uh, filming that much. Did you get wasted last night? I got wasted. I'm not drinking from the February, so I didn't, and I feel great today. I feel better, but I don't feel great. You, he, we gave him a soda. He didn't get a burger, but we might get that. Well, we're eating burgers tomorrow. Actually. Are we? Yeah, the McDonald's thing to challenge. Oh yeah, the McDonald's thing. I'm getting ready to make a draft video. If I win the draft, I don't have to do the shaving cream bath. If I lose the draft, which you guys are gonna know way before the draft even comes out because you're our loyal followers and we don't mind showing you behind the scenes of it, um, then you'll know. And I'll be taking a shaving cream bath today. Everybody on Fubi will already know. Everybody on Fangs will be waiting to see on next week. I think it's next Tuesday. We will be recording that, some behind the scenes, and then what else today? The Great. people showed up to do our pool and then they left. They didn't even do it. I saw the cement truck out there and everything. Bunch of jerks. And I saw that even the guy came and was in our backyard doing something, the owner of the company. I don't know what he was doing, but besides that, we got a workout today. I'm recording a P.O. box opening because I got a chair that you guys are also going to see today. This, you know what? They get to see so many things. When I have to pre-make videos, you guys better still watch my videos, even though you get to see some of this stuff. It's only 30,000 people on this channel, though. Yeah, I know. And so it's not like, like that's going to be 5, a big... 5,000 people watch it, so it'll take like a 5,000 person cut. But I believe you guys are loyal enough that you'll still watch the video that it came out in because we love you guys. Usually they just come out the same day, but because I'm having a pre-make. We're pre-making a, a lot of videos. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna try the Grand Big Mac, which is like, I think two quarter pounder. It's gonna be big, two, it's huge. Yeah, we're gonna do the, the small one as well, just to see if it has like a different taste, if it's like more fresh, because it's one patty. Mm. Probably gonna taste a little Tastes same. the exact same, I bet. There's probably other things we can try at McDonald's we haven't tried as well. I haven't tried a fish sandwich, I will not try it, sorry. Can't get me to do that. You need to absolutely have a fish sandwich. I'll die. I would actually die inside. I'm about to have to go there where possibly I'll be eating a lot of fish in Zambia, so I'm not gonna even try to. I'm just gonna. You're gonna get swole. Protein. You're gonna have all this protein in your all system. This protein! We have to work out today. We have a crazy workout. We're doing 12 my weight. I don't know what the men's weight is, but my weight's 105 pounds of back squats. So having it behind my head and doing back squats, 12 of them. And then I have to run 400 meters, and I do that five times. So 1.2 miles in a. Psh, Five times 12, 60 back squats. That's that crazy. will be tough. It doesn't sound like much, but it just takes forever and you're just exhausted at the end of all these workouts. Yeah, we need to run to the, to the PO box. There's a few things we gotta do. It's not that busy of a day. Bachelor's tonight. Oh, oh, can't oh, have oh. I uh, can't have my stupid Your wine, wine? though. I'm gonna have to have like- Just have a Dr. Pepper. Creamberry juice. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. I'll have, I'm gonna have a wine glass with Dr. Pepper in it. Oh, That'll be cool. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get to the Okay, me too. I'm getting ready as well. Actually, no, I'm not. We're going to pick up some shaving cream and going to the P.O. box to check it for the last time before I do my P.O. box video. I went out in the freaking first round. Like, honestly, sometimes I just don't understand the fun draft. I had so much trouble with it last year. This year I do. I have no problems. I even played a couple of Division 5 matches because I'm in Division 5, which isn't the greatest, but no problems winning those. I go play fun champions matches, qualify for it. Watch out for that puppy. No problems winning those. And Fight Champions, first round, for some reason, I don't know, it gets in my head. Even if I go up and I'm winning, I still lose. I can't bring it together. I don't know if it's because I don't like practice with those players enough and I'm used to using all those other teams over and over again, but it just frustrates me that I can't get past the stupid first round. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the draft this year. I don't play it very often. I only play it for these videos, so that might be a problem. But it's just frustrating as ever. And so I have to actually do the thing. Oh my gosh. Sean and your big dog. So I have to do the forfeit. I am gonna have to do the bath and it's gonna be interesting. We also have to get the P.O. Box stuff. How are you feeling today? Um, I'm kinda tired and hungover. You gonna run? You ready to run 1.2 no, miles? I'm not ready to run. Ready, 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 but ready. I will do it. Because well, you're, you're a freaking warrior. I'm a house. He's a house and a warrior. No, I'm not. I need to get a protein bar. Haven't drank in a week. And I have already lost two pounds. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Dang, girl. I, I weigh 138 right now. I don't wanna lose a lot of weight by any means because I've worked hard on gaining the weight and muscles in my legs and stuff, but I do wanna get rid of some body fat, which I think comes from drinking too many beers on the weekends. Cause when I drink, I yeah. freaking uh, Yeah, same here. I think you're right. 
I shouldn't have drank, but you know what? It was a Super Bowl and I was grilling. So I don't care. You know what's the problem though is that it's always there. It's something. I feel like I, I tell you myself go that. This way too, get a yeah. Thing. I tell myself that every week and I say, oh, well, then it's just this person's birthday. Oh, it's just this guy's going away party. Oh, it's just this. And it's like we have something know, every we weekend. We really do have something every weekend. Uh, so it makes it kind of so hard. So next weekend, no, next weekend we're going to be. We'll be flying and I'm going to have wine. So we'll probably will. It won't be really drinking. We're going to be I, over drinking and partying. I actually probably won't because sometimes I'll have drinks and it'll make me stay up more. Really? Like if I have a mixed drink or something. Don't do a mixed drink. Do like something Yeah, that makes but you more sometimes sleepy. I get fucking amped up on beer too. Mm, well. You should get like a, yeah, get a OJ and vodka. Does OJ, OJ makes you wake, doesn't it? Eh, not really, but I don't know. I, I'll play it by ear. I'll, I'll see what happens. I'm gonna, I will have drinks on the plane just to calm my nerves because it's a 17 hour flight, but I'm not trying to get, like I'm not gonna be downing six beers on that plane by any means. But yeah, we're gonna get, I need to get a protein bar. I need to get a Red Bull sugar free because I'm addicted and I ain't gonna have them for two weeks after that. Ah! What am I gonna do in Zambia without my Red Bull? You're gonna just have to wake up and smell the monkey poop. I'm gonna wake up and smell the monkey poop. They're chimps. Chimp. Trying this bee naked real nut energy protein, or it's not even a protein bar, it's an energy bar, but it's got AGs of protein, chocolate chip peanut butter. Only problem is, is they always have sugar in them. Like this one's got 14 grams of sugar, which I don't know if it's healthy sugar because it does have real nuts, but still. That's so frustrating. I need a bar that's like this with protein, but not like all the freaking added sugars. Doobie's got a beef stick, beef jerky, mm -hmm. having a snack. This woman is unfucking believable. So you when just I was lost another damn phone. When I was in the, <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. When I was in the gas station, I took my phone in. to look at the little bar that I just showed you and I noticed halfway to the PO box I don't have my phone so I turned on the locate my iPhone and it's been turned off so I'm pretty sure this one is just a goner what is like honestly I haven't lost phones like this until this year except for on the trip and don't blame it on me don't blame it on any outside sources this is legit you not paying attention I just don't understand why people pick up phones and they don't give them back though like that doesn't matter. You should never be put in a situation where you lose your phone. You should never lose your phone. I lose my phone, but that's like when I get so drunk that I pass out and end up in somebody's car that I don't even know. That's a different circumstance. You are stark sober and you just leave it. That happened to me in the, uh, in the Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that one had a reason. Aye, aye, aye. That but, was a heck of a night. Um, my iPhone 7, that $800 beauty. Thankfully, I'm uh, not... We're 99% sure it's gone. We're going to we're the gas station to, check to the gas ask, station but... That you left it in. How have you not forgotten these cameras and you forget your phone all the time? Because the, the camera hooks to my wrist. I don't care. You're always on your phone 24-7. You legitimately do not put it down. I don't know what the what, fuck's wrong What with you me. need to start doing is leaving your phone in the car. Because you don't need it anywhere else. I'm, I'm actually sad right now. Like my, I felt a, just a deep sadness. I know that someone's gonna, they wouldn't be turned off if someone didn't take it. And I've been looking and it's turned off. So I'm gonna ask them and they're gonna say no. And then I gotta head to Verizon and report. This is not even the full phone. force of my frustration right now. I have so much more in here that I'm containing. I wanna let it out so bad because this is like the seventh phone in two years now for Jesse. No, 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 no. This is the third phone in like two in years. years. Third phone in a year because Dominican. Dominican was Oklahoma. two years ago. Oh, was it? Yeah, Dominican was. We went to the Bahamas last year. Okay. So, Dominican two years ago, I was good. I had a good year, a good long year, and then uh, here comes Oklahoma, and now, you know, let's I call, have insurance. Let's call the cops on these guys. Just stole it. We have no one to call the cops on. Yeah. Well, I know that I should never put someone in the situation to have to steal my phone, and but that person who did. Well, well, I don't know yet. I, I, we're gonna check first. But if someone did like pick up the phone out of the out of the area where I put it, which hope they didn't even see it. Hopefully, it's not noticeable. But if someone did, why? Like honestly, why do you not just be like, hey, I found this phone over here. When I was in the bathroom, I thought my good karma. When I was at the freaking stock show and rodeo, and I was in the bathroom, a girl left in the bathroom and she came in freaking out. And she asked this lady that was cleaning the bathroom. 
did you see a phone? And I'm like sitting there like, man, I've had that happen to me before. I was like, had a couple beers, so I was tipsy. And then I looked to my right, there's a phone sitting next to me. So I was like, I put it underneath and I was like, you mean this phone? And she was like, oh my God, thank God. She was so happy. So I thought that was my good karma, but You should have quizzed her. You should have been like, you have to put in your coat. <sighs> And well, like who else dessert. would be coming running in asking about the phone in that what stall? What if you just do that randomly and like one out of every ten times do that somebody <laughs> hands you a random phone? <laughs> you mean my phone? Um, but I guess apparently people aren't as good in this world as I am. Some people just are stupid little biatches and they want to take phones and make them for their own or whatever. I don't know. There's also a lot of people that don't leave phones like you do. Yeah, there are a lot of people that leave phones like I do. Okay, it happens. No, I just happen to be doing it a lot. You left it in Walmart as well, and you're lucky that you didn't get it stolen then. You have left this phone, so all your all your phones, so many places, and legit, you just don't hold on to them. I just need one that attaches to my hand, so I can just have to run. No, you with don't. It. It's already attached to your hand. You need one that you leave in the car when you go to the gas station. Why would you take it in? I'm a failure, guys. Bye. You don't even. Do you even have pockets? No. Update. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. It was in the car. Sorry. You see what I have to deal with on a daily basis. It was. It, tell them where you found it, though. It was in wedged. the car, right yeah. next to you on no, the right. No, it was wedged down in the seat where I couldn't see it. Oh my god! Let's go to the PO box. I'm so embarrassed. You guys have ever seen that scary movie Birds? Back of the bird right now. It actually happened right here. This is all those birds from that movie. This is where they filmed it. Yes, at the Walmart where we're going to get shaving cream. They filmed it here. They filmed it here. We just got down to the P.O. box, picked up my one letter. Let's cross. I'll be opening. Oh, we got to cross. We got to cross now. Birds. Pharmacy. Whoa. Oh, God, we're going to die. We're going to die because Jimmy's not paying attention. I'm kidding. I'm the one not paying attention. So like everybody's in the shaving cream aisle apparently right now and we're trying to get shaving cream so it took a second but we're gonna get 23 of these we already got a lot of the cheaper kind and now we're gonna go for whatever we can get which is all these barbasols how many do you have up there 14 14 up top does this make 14 right here 20 okay so how many more we need So we need one more, and that's gonna be the sensitive skin. Yeah, baby, we're about to take a bath and some shaving cream. Yeah, yeah. Look at all that. Whew. Somebody just needs to shave really bad. I don't know, but Walmart is a fucking beating right now. Walmart is a shit show. Okay, don't ever show up at Walmart at six o'clock in the evening. It's literally, my hair's gone crazy because of it. There were so many people and I wanted to murder them all. I actually wanted to go ID. See, Trump's gonna come and abduct you and put you in an NSA torture camp. <laughs> oh my God. Or a CIA black site. I just was like, really, I can't handle that. I can't handle Walmart this time. Next time we're gonna have to go to Target because that's way too many people. No, because Target's gonna be $3 a bottle. Yeah, that's why we came, because we got 98 cents for most of them, somewhere $1.30. Um, we're running a little late. We have to rush home. I gotta put a sports bra on, and then we gotta go work our buns out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? No, not at all. Okay. Boys and girls, welcome to my humble abode, uh, where I have about 30 shaving creams. My gosh. I'm gonna be putting into the tub to hopefully make a full on shaving cream bath. That's gonna take a little bit of time. That's gonna take forever. I didn't do even, do like I did my hair made it dry, but I didn't like straighten it and I didn't put makeup on because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna puff my face in this. Why wouldn't you wanna have shaving cream all over your face? And it's natural, right? People have shaving cream on their face all the time. Is it gonna mess my hair up? Uh, no, it'll just get in there a little bit. Is it gonna try to shave my hair without the actual razor? No. What are this you doing? This isn't a bath full of nair. Are you wanting to take a bath in the shaving cream as well? Okay, I make myself a biatch. I do, what I'm, I do what I want. I just sit here and flick my tail around and I just flick, 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 flick. Oh, God. Oh, my. She just got mad at me. Um, so yeah, that's about to begin. Doobie's gonna have to record it, so I can't really record much of ha what's happening besides that. But you can, maybe. I can try. Yeah, you can try. If you can see if you can double hit it, maybe sit down on one camera for a second and record a little bit. We'll see how that goes. I'm about to get started spraying this in here though. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's, <laughs> it's so crap. cool. It's ridiculous. 
Oh my god, the ba the bath or the bathtub is full of shaving cream. We didn't even use them all. God. We have four left over that four we left. now have. I'm just gonna keep those. Yeah, because you actually it looks like there's six. There's six? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Look at it. Whatever. Though. I mean, we don't need more than that. Yeah, that looks good. That's ridiculous. A little bit crazy in the bathtub. You look, you look naked. Do I? With uh, the shaving cream on. Thumbnail, <laughs> thumbnail material. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the better ones I've done. I'm trying now to get the uh, shaving cream out of the bathtub. It's actually like, it's the aloe that's tingling my body. I have aloe all over my body and my butt crack. It's probably not going to be good for my... It's probably not aloe because aloe takes away burns. So it's probably like whatever sensitive skin or like moisturizer or whatever else they put in there. We're trying to get it down the drain. Currently this is going to take, oh the drain had closed again. This is going to take a while. You need to turn on the shower. Okay, well, turn the shower on then. Girl, you're right there. You turn it on. But I'm so stuck in the in the shaving cream. <laughs> I am stuck. Hold on. Ah! Oh, close the thing. Close the thing. It's gonna get everywhere. Oh, my God. Here, you gotta put it up on the inside. And 30 minutes later, it's finally at least kind of clean. What do you have to say for yourself, cutes? Um, it was awesome! It was awesome. It should be pretty sweet. Yeah, did it look cleaning? Yeah, it looked awesome. Jesse, what are you eating? Some leftovers? Leftovers, ribs, steak. It's, yeah, that's, that's the T-bone that we cooked the other night. Did we even record the T-bone? I don't think so. No, then, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did? did? Um, and then we've got beans and potato salad and the pork. Oh my goodness. And some of that. Oh, that's what I can have. I started myself all day. Yeah, we forgot about that. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm gonna have to take some of that icing because I don't like a whole lot of icing. Yes, there's dishes, I know. It'll be clean tomorrow. That's a doobie job this time. Is uh, our maid coming tomorrow? Um, no, no, she's coming for the next week. Okay. So what are we having? Oh, we're watching The Bachelor, having some milk and cookie, cookie cake. cake. Woo! Woo, this is so, so exciting! Hard.